Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate the spray wipe spray technique for disinfecting your treatment rooms. After the patient leaves, we need to turn over our room so it's safe and ready to use for the next patient. Any items that did not have barriers on them and may have come in contact either through touch, we've touched it with our contaminated gloves, or it may have been contaminated by droplet or aerosol particles, we need to disinfect with an intermediate level disinfectant. This process is always a two-step process. We do a cleaning step and then we do the disinfection step. For the spray wipe spray technique that I'll demonstrate, I'm using Birex and this particular type of Birex is a phenol. For any cleaning procedure, make sure to wear all of your PPE, including utility gloves. Any surfaces that were not covered by a barrier need to be sprayed and wiped. What I like to do is I like to spray all of those surfaces that I plan on disinfecting. Once the items are sprayed, I can then wipe them. This is the cleaning process. These disinfectants have a cleaning chemical in them that facilitate the removal of bio burden. So by wiping, this will remove any saliva, any bio burden that may be on these surfaces. Think of all the different surfaces droplets may have landed or anything you may have touched. If you touched the drawers here, you would want to spray and wipe those down. If you did not touch those, you would not have to wipe those down unless you noticed any spatter land on them. Most likely you've touched your chair adjustments, so be sure to wipe those to clean and remove any saliva or bio burden. Continue this process on all the surfaces that did not have a barrier on them. For the dental unit, we had barriers on the air water syringes, but we didn't have barriers on the hand pieces. They get sterilized after every patient. So what I like to do is I like to spray and wipe the hoses as well as the holsters for the hoses. So again, I sprayed everything first and then I'm wiping it clean. And then what I'll have to do is I'll have to spray again. So this first spray is to clean. The second spray is to disinfect. Continue to all the surfaces that you need to wipe clean. Again, don't forget the paddles on these chairs. Throw out your paper towel that we used to clean the surfaces and I'm going to pick up my spray bottle and spray all of these surfaces again. As you spray your second spray, make sure you have a nice fine mist on all of these surfaces. Now that all the surfaces that needed to be disinfected have been cleaned and disinfected, we need to let them stay wet for the time necessary for the disinfectant to kill the microorganisms. In the case of this Birex, it needs to stay wet for 10 minutes. Once your 10 minutes is up, if you need to, you can come back and dry your room. But don't dry it before that 10 minutes is up. At the end of the day, we disinfect everything, even items that had barriers on them. So between patients, if you're using barriers, you only have to disinfect items that you know 
have been contaminated, such as when you removed a barrier, you accidentally touched the surface underneath, or any items that you touched or were, with, were within range of spatter and aerosols. But at the end of the day, we disinfect everything. When you select your intermediate level disinfectant, make sure it is registered with the EPA. And all of your intermediate level disinfectants have a tuberculosidal claim. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful.